Hello everyone from Guest Studio. I'm Guest, the poetic artist, where the brush meets poetry and the canvas speak. I want to thank you for joining me today to continue this painting journey. We really appreciate the encouragement with either a thumbs up, and if you really like my content, you subscribe to my channel. As you recall, in my previous two videos, I added mist to the doorways painting. In the first one, I added some white, and then in the second one, I added uh, some red and some yellow. And then off camera, uh, I did some tweaking on it, and as with me and most new artists, we don't quite know where to stop. Or we do, but we don't listen to ourselves. So as I was putting on the whiteness, there was a point in the video where I actually stopped and kind of looked at the painting and thought, okay, I've gone far enough. Um, but unfortunately, I still had paint on the palette. So because I still had paint on the palette, I went ahead and used the rest of the paint. Um, that was a mistake <laughs> to do. Um, so I thought to correct that mistake, I would go ahead and add in the yellow and the red. Which I still intend to add in the yellow and the red, but just not quite as dark. So anyway, I'm going to have to correct that. And today, what I'm going to do is show you how I'm going to correct it. I'll explain to you everything I'm going to do. Um, this will also be my opportunity to learn how to use the sped up process so you're not having to wait however long it's going to take me to put the paint down. Uh, you'll just be able to see it'll be sped up and then we'll stop and I'll tell you what all I'm doing. So don't go away and I will be right back after my intro. Welcome back. Again, I'm Deb from Deb Studio. So what materials I'm going to need, of course, are the paint or the color that I used for the background, which if memory serves me correctly, was a phthalo blue. Um, definitely a metallic sapphire blue. I'll also maybe add some cobalt hue from Apple Barrel. And um, then, <clears throat> like I said, in one of the um, earlier videos I had noticed some purple undertones which tells me I probably added some diox purple in there at one time or another and then of course for these little splashes of color here I used um, sterling silver and then also uh, pure gold. Now other items that we're going to need to uh, get ourselves corrected here back on track I'm going to be using what's called a clean release tape. Um, it really has to be burnished down really good because, yeah, it, I have to be careful because sometimes it'll bleed through underneath the paint, uh, underneath the tape, so I really have to burnish it down really, 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 really good. And then, of course, we're going to need our paper plate for mixing our paint. And I've got Mr. Scruffly here to help me apply the paint to the canvas. He really moves the paint around. Okay, so I believe that's all the materials we're going to use. I did, uh, I brought my gloves out. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to use them or not. Uh, I don't plan on getting paint on myself. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see how that goes. But just in case, uh, I, I really, I guess I'm a tactile kind of person, so I don't really wear the gloves because I want to be able to feel what I'm doing. Alright, and then another thing we're going to need, of course, is scissors to cut our tape off. All right, so I believe that's it, and, oh, that's seven. All right, so we now I'm going to definitely take off the doors. That's going to be easy enough to do because they're a big space. However, my stairway is very thin, so it's not going to be practical. It's going to be really, really hard to, you know, cut tape skinny enough to cover that. So, what the plan is, is I'm actually going to be covering up only the doors, paint in the background, and then once the, the background is done, I'll remove the paint from the doors, or the tape rather, sorry. Um, or I might just leave it. Um, but anyways, we'll have to uh, tape off where my stairways are at. So the stairways, uh, hopefully will, there's a ridge here where they actually are. So hopefully I'll be able to find them to where I can tape off each section and then repaint in the steps and then we can go from there. So that would help correct the background and then we can start over again with adding in the mist, which I won't take you through that. 
um, I'll probably add the mist in off camera, but I do want to show you how I'm going to set myself up to correct this background and then get back on track so that I can do what it is I want to do originally with my mist. So my camera stopped right as I was putting this last piece of tape down, so I just went ahead and put it down and we are actually ready to go ahead and start painting in our background. So get my paper paint and start with my favorite blue and then I've got my metallic sapphire blue or metallic blue sapphire as it's called. getting on me and I have to work tomorrow so yeah so rarely do I wear the gloves but I think today I am so if you noticed as I was doing part of this um, I was actually using a blade at one point uh, to make a more precise cut uh, you just want to be careful though when you're cutting directly on the canvas um, that you're not cutting the canvas too. Okay. leave it as a loose mix. Um, I mean, it's entirely up to you. Alright, so if I do not use all of this, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'll save it, but I probably won't put it into my wet palette. I'll put it back into one of these bottles of the soap bar. Sometimes this craft paint will skin. It's actually not skin 
that bad that it was what we looked inside the lid itself. So it should be okay. I guess I think I put too much purple in here and I should have known better but uh it's not going to be that big a deal because actually my background will be pretty consistent since I am redoing the entire thing it would be a different story if I was only redoing part of it but the entire background is getting done so and it's pretty close but I think it's a little dark so go with it that dark or try adding a little light. If I do, it would just be a touch. Oh, okay. That was fun. <laughs> All right, guys. So, things like that happen. No biggie. I'll just grab one of my paper towels here and wipe that up because I don't think I want to mix it in. Well, let's see what we got here so far. Mm -hmm. Maybe just a tad lighter. So what we're gonna do is take a little bit of that white that we spilt. Here. Now, I think <clears throat> where some of my problem went wrong too, as far as putting down the colored mist, is I actually forgot that acrylic paints will shift color when they dry, especially if it's a, a student gray or The professional grades don't shift as much, but they still do shift, so uh, what you want to kind of keep in mind is that you want things lighter. You want to try to be a little bit lighter than your color. And actually, you know, there's more purple than that. I'm going to go with this purple, though. I think what I might do is We'll work that in. I'm only adding in the white a little bit at a time until I actually get it to the color lightness that I like. And I do want to kind of hurry because apparently my camera it goes off at 16 and a half minutes, so yeah, that's probably light enough. So now that I've got it light enough, I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe the rest of this paint off and it really doesn't matter much um like that already got go ahead and mix that in take it down and then we'll get this paint down and we'll be good to go to let this dry and then we'll come back and i'll show you how i'll do the the stairs and see it's a good thing i put the gloves on <laughs> I mean, this pink paint's from before, but the white paint is what I just did, so, yeah, it's a good thing I put on the paint, or put on the gloves. Gosh, if only I could talk. bring you back to me <laughs> I'll put the stairs in or show you how I'm going to tape off the stairs and we'll put those in all right everyone we're back I actually did go a little bit lighter with the blue because um, once it did dry it looked a little darker so I add a little more white and now what we're going to do is we're going to tape off our stairs and fortunately I don't know if the camera can pick it up but I can see the ridge 
where the stairs were originally. So that's what we're going to go by. And Alright, so for my red and my yellow, I did use a uh, primary yellow and naphthol crimson. I really like those two. Uh, well, I like the red and I like that yellow. By doing that, my edges got a little more jagged like I wanted them. I didn't get them that jagged when I put them down the first time, but now they are. Okay, so. Now this student paint, um, I've noticed it's not quite as stiff or as heavy as the professional grade. And if you can see here, I'm not going all the way up to the red just yet because I, I don't want to contaminate um, my yellow all the way on the edge. I went red in the yellow or yellow in the red. So let's go a yellow, a yellow red. And I'll have to wipe my knife each time. Ooh, that looks good. Can get close enough here. Uh -huh. I should put my clamps back on that, like I said. I'm actually off the next three days. Yay. And uh, being as I'm doing this recording on Sunday, Happy Mother's Day, or in this case, Happy Late Mother's Day, to any moms that are watching. And I do want to thank you for joining me on this journey. I never really imagined myself doing videos, much less YouTube videos, but I think here I can. Oh my gosh, that one's really dark. I'm going too far. We'll fix that in a minute.
Get right in there, so we're not going to mess with that. We're going to leave that alone. And actually, that was red into yellow. All right, let's leave those alone. Get this other side in. So now this one would be the yellow in the middle. So actually, I actually think that's going to look better than I did it the last time. We'll see once I get the tape up. Um, all right, what did I say? Yellow through the middle. And it doesn't have to be um, like direct center uh, on the stairs. I'm not really going for perfection. I just want a mix of that red and yellow together. I'm not exactly sure why I want it that way. I just know that it feels right to me. So, and it kind of, I don't know, this red and yellow together, where it's mixed out, it almost looks I don't know, maybe like fire. Yellow one. Get our red down. And then I'm putting up, I'm putting a little more paint on than what I need. Like I said, it does kind of level, and then I don't want to scrape the paint off of the canvas and then leave a bare spot. And go ahead and do our little swipe. Now, swiping this, you've got to be, it's an art. I still haven't got it down myself, but. You don't want to push down so hard that you're pulling whatever color you're pulling in all the way over, you know, either way. So, like I said, it's, okay. See, like in that case, I didn't have that red close enough. And the yellow. There we go. Oh, dear. Hmm. I think it's always going to be a little bit. Let's just finish this up and we'll look at it. And since I've got my red, I think a little bit thicker on there than the yellow. That looks cool. Hmm. And I know this is probably looking like a waste of paint. But it's better to have too much paint than not enough. Alright, didn't like that too well. Let's go. Let's do this. Trying to get the red not being quite enough to the yellow. That's one of the 
about this red coming over that far but I do like the effect that it has. Now, I'm going to go black with that. 
Yeah, we're gonna go black with that. Don't go away, guys. Now that I have my gold and my silver on, I really do need to get my doors to where you can actually tell their doors and not some weird little like, shaky blob on the screen. Okay. So we're gonna do again a pop. This might be a little harder to do because I need to have a really skinny line. really quick because I want to pick up the tape before the paint dries. So let's see what we got here real quick. That's not too bad. I might go a little bit darker with that. Hmm. All right. And next side real quick. quite get it at the peak but it'll be fine. Alright guys, so that's that much of it. So got that done. And this is the this mess. So I'm hoping I don't mess up again. I'll be back. Don't go away. Okay folks, so we got that corrected and of course like I said I didn't think you do the torture of the mist. Of course this was easy because we get an entire element rather than just part of an element. Some of the pieces on the stairs that I really did like and enjoy how they turned out is where the red and the yellow actually converged in some of the areas. And let's see, my kind of favorite one was this. Um, and then this one looks really nice too. But anyways, I do thank you for watching. I do have another project in mind. I just don't know what that's gonna be yet. I did write a poem about the project that I'm attempting or hoping to attempt and I can recite that to you and if I'm successful this will be a series of paintings uh, and then of course I'm considering breaking the painting rule but we got to see if that's going to work too so I'm experimenting on that but at any rate without hands reaching searching caring holding offering comforting creating expressing Without hands, where would we be? Reaching or searching for objects, caring for or holding someone, a loved one. Without hands, how could we write about reaching for dreams, searching for meaning, caring little or a lot, holding on to hope? Without hands, how could we survive holding on to a life preserver, be it a thing, a place, a person, our faith. Without hands, how can we show caring, a preferred attribute, love, kindness, sympathy, or offering help? Without hands, how can we find what we're searching for? A pen, some paper, a glass of water, or food? Without hands, how can we reach for a brush, some paint, a canvas? express what our hands represent. Without hands, how can we offer the words that fall from our mouths, the love we should have for all mankind? Wipe away tears, comfort the lonely, comfort the lost. 
What would life be like without these tools that offer, express, comfort, hold, search, reach, care, or pray? Obviously, it would be colder. It would be less caring. Life would be pointless and barren without hands. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you turning in. For encouragement, could you give me a thumbs up? And if you want to continue following me, please subscribe to my channel. My name is Deb. I am the Poetic Artist from Deb Studio. Go out and enjoy life and create something beautiful. Bye.